Beautiful, beautiful day out here, huh? Check that out, man. Reservoir is looking good. Actually, better saying this is more like a quarry, not really a reservoir. Yeah, but now it's looking lit. Check it out, check it out. It's looking really, really juicy out here, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, originally, I was supposed to shoot a special video, a promo video for Euroteco today on the Capriland Lures. But if you watched the last two episodes on the YouTube channel, you know that American Airlines lost my check bag that contained not only my entire collection of Capriland Lures, right? Then juicy, top of the crop lures, it also had all my fishing reels too. That hurt so much. It's been four days since that happened. They still have no idea where my bag is. And I had three pen reels in there, including my legendary pen battle 4500 and my Fluger for the ultralight. Now, thankfully, American Airlines does have this policy that when they lose your bag, you can go out of your way to purchase some stuff that you need right away and they will reimburse you for it. Now, since we're down here on a business trip, right? And we are shooting videos for the YouTube channel for the species of fish that we're going to be targeting today. That little BS reel, <laughs> Abu Garcia, that we've been using for the last few days just ain't gonna cut it. So I went to Walmart and I got the goods. We spent like $90 or something on real line and yours, okay? Check it out, man. This is what we got for today. This is what we're going to be doing in this video, okay? I got here a new Fluger, right? This one is the Fluger Tryon SP20. I also got a fishing line in here, four pounds test line, Seaguar 101, 100% fluorocarbon. And you know, I was going to use Capellan, right? But since we don't have them, this is going to be the game plan of the day, okay? The good old Gary Yamamoto Senkos. So let me get everything up over here and we're gonna start casting for hopefully some juicy, some big ones in this video. That is what's up, check it out, huh? We're making things very efficient out here. We're putting the line on that reel. I always use one hand on top over here so that, you know, it kind of messes with the memory of the line. And then the spool is just right in there, right? So that's pretty much how it works. All right, let's get this baby up, put that sink on so that we can catch some fish. Got a tap fish on. First fish of the day coming up. Not bad. Senko, baby. You know, when it comes to bass fishing, Senkos have never disappointed me. Never disappointed me. This one's pulling drag too. Look at that. Boy, looks like a nice one. Looks like a nice one. Decent. Four pounds test. No. Nope. Senko, baby. Senko. Yeah, look at that. It's going to come up soon enough. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First fish of the day on the Senko. Look at that. Powerful, huh? That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what we're here for. Come over here, little fella. I'm going to release you soon enough, all right? Just want you for a little YouTube appearance. Oh, dude, this is a beautiful sample right here, huh? Look at that. All right, let's take a shot. Look at that, huh? Mm-hmm. First fish of the day. You know, folks, I've been fishing with the Senkos for a long, long time. Now, obviously, I would love to be rocking the Capellan Lures over here today, but check that out, huh? That's a beautiful first sample right here. Microptero Salmoides, large mouth, black bass. 
Gary Yamamoto Senkos, they just never disappoint, I'll tell you that. Back it goes, look how clear the water is, huh? Just casting the Senkos right along the margins, right? We're just walking and casting, walking and casting around this distance, let it sink. You feel that one tap, boom, you know, that's it. We're gonna keep walking, that was a pretty decent one. Hopefully they have some bigger ones in this quarry. Hear me and hear me well, YouTube. Usually when I find a tree like this that kind of hangs into it, right? And it is the only one around the area. It is kind of worth it for you to spend some extra time and give it a few more casts down there, you know? Just to skip it, cast it all around, take your time, right? Don't forget, 2004, Bassmaster, right? Takahiro Omori. Last 30 minutes of the competition, dude found a school of five pounders, man. He just nailed whoop, 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 one after another and won first place, right? So when you find juicy spots like this, sometimes you find schools. Well, apparently, <laughs> apparently we haven't found no school here, right? I just gave get nothing, but we are going to circle. We're going to circle around the other side of this tree and give a few more casts over there. It's all right, dude. We just need to be a little bit uh, more aggressive on our approach. Really, man? You're telling me there's not a fish under that tree? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Fish under the tree. Under the... Oh, oh, son. Take it easy. Down, down. Oh, it's smaller, though. It's a smaller than the other one. But I'll take it. On a day like this, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I'll take it. I'll take anything that comes. Yeah, look at that, huh? Uh -huh. By the way, I'm using a circle hook, all right? Because uh, a lot of terminal tackle were in the bag that they actually lost. So I don't really have the right hooks for the Senkos. Yeah, go figure, right? Blame it on American Airlines. There we go. Man, that was textbook spot. You feel me? Right there, right? right you know it especially if you're a bass angler you know what i'm talking about okay problem is what if i do hook a fish over there Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I did, I just did say, what happens if I do hook a fish over there? Four pound test line, can we flip it over? I don't know. Oh, oh it came, it came. Can we flip it, oh, we got off. You got off, oh no, no, it's on, it's on, it's on. Can we flip it again? We can do it, come on. Yeah, small one, but all right, dude. Spot looks so juicy, I was like, let's do it, right? Problem is so much structure and four pounds test line. Oh, wait a moment. This major, whoa, wait, wait a moment. Wait a moment, folks. I think this is a spotted base. I think this is a spotted base. Let's double check here real quick. There is one sure way of checking the differences between large mouth and the spotted base, right? And that is by the tooty patch on its tongue. Its tongue is right over there. And there's a, you folks can see well, there is a sandy toothy patch. Right on top, over there. So yeah, toothy patch right over here. I am pretty positive. This is a spotted bass, the Micropterus punctulatus. Look at the markings, huh? On the beast. I'm telling you, man, you come down here to Tennessee, it is gold to catch one of these because you can't really find it in the Northeast. You feel me? Yeah, all right. If you ask me, was it worth it to come through the woods to this side of the quarry, right? Technically, we're still on the other side of the tree. I'm getting eaten alive by the mosquitoes too. <laughs> I would say that it was very worth it, you know? Microptilus punctulatus. That is what's up. <sighs> 
look at that you all see that this is only one out of about five or six in my body right now i'm all sweaty all filthy my legs are itching from the mosquitoes man the other side of that tree was brutal i almost slipped in the mud twice so my shoes now are all muddy too but hey pros and cons right if you ask me it was worth it it was worth it that Micropterus punctulatus is a new species for this fishing trip so hey i ain't complaining you know Senko fishing going well too got three so far so i mean we went all the way to the end of the quarry over here right it circles around like this now it is time for us to head back and go that way i did see two three people fishing around here you know this is a highly pressured area even though i don't know man people a lot of people fishing down here weekend no weekends so i will try my best okay i mean we got the lethal weapon i'm gonna try my best to cast some sinkles over there and we will see what happens Now I'm all itchy. <laughs> all itchy, boy. Clean my shoes a little bit over here. It's got mud everywhere, boy. Man, that sucks. Oh, fish on, boy. Fish on. It's cleaning my shoes here. Now I got the hit. That's what's up. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a bass. That's a bass. Just a regular bass, folks. Just a regular bass. Look, tiny one too. Okay, tiny one coming up while cleaning my shoes right here at the quarry. All right, man. They love that sanko. Look at that. On this side of the tree again. Look, just shot that last sketch that you guys saw. I was like, you know what? Let me cast it a few more times around this tree, right? Because, like I told you earlier in this video, sometimes they like to school around places like this all pissed off too man probably never seen an asian down here in tennis <laughs> i'm just messing i'm just messing. i'm just kidding okay all right let's start heading back and uh, let me clean my shoes nice Oh, fish on. Didn't even set the hook, already knew, man. Already knew, felt that tap. I already knew, instant death. Just casting it out there and letting it sink. Folks, no secret, no secret. Look at that, holy smokes. Dude, this is what I call a good day of bass fishing. It's about to come up, it's about to come up. Look at that, look, look at it. Oh, heck yeah, okay, I was playing the camera. <laughs> Easy, gotta do the YouTube job while catching in fish look at that uh, hey, it's all cookie cutter though man i just missed a nice one around here though so but yeah this is more like cookie cutter size right look at that hmm i wonder where are the bigger ones huh yeah i mean i'm not complaining though it is a good day of fishing out here great day of single fishing all right there it goes Dude, you really can't make this up, can you? Just casting it out there, like in the open. Not even around a tree, around a cover or a structure. Open quarry water. I'm just letting it sink, man. That means that there's got to be something related to topography out there. Maybe there's a drop. Maybe there's a ledge. Lots of locals fishing on ledge. No, I'm just messing, I'm just messing. I just had another tap. Just had another two taps over here. Small fish, but it's a tap. Look at that, look at that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dude, I'm not even making this up, bro. You can't make this up. Oh my Lord, it's surfaced already. It's all cookie cutter, like I said, but hey, I'm having a blast out here. Look at it. 
Man, you can't make that up, bro. You can't make that up. Man, that is what's up, man. Catching them fishing them ledges. Them ledges. This guy is smaller and smaller, though. What, what is going on, bro? Go, go call your great grandfather. Can you do that for me? Go out there and call the elder of the bays, okay? There we go. The honey hole. You know, right on time, too. Sometimes it is really hard to believe. Cast the stuff out there and just let it sink in the open. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, look at that, man. You can't make this up. Oh, easy, easy, easy now, boy. This one's actually pulling drag. Look at that, four pounds test, bass fishing, all right? Dang, dude, I found the honey hole of the bass here. There has to be something down there. Maybe a change in depth for real. Oh, it's a snag. Don't a piece of wood or something. No, no, you can't do that to me. Let me come to the side and see if I can get it off or something. Dude, I let it run too much. It went to a piece of wood or something. Is it still on? I don't even know if it is on now. Bro, that's what happens when you play with the fish too much for the sake of YouTube. Let's see if I can get it off. Let's see if I can get it off. Oh, 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 it's off, it's off, it's off, boy, it's off. You see the technique right there, boy? It's off. Oh, the whole trunk is coming up. That's, that's what it is. Okay. Whole trunk came up. The fish is still there. Four pounds test, cigar, 100%. Fish is still on, fish is still on, fish is still on. <laughs> Came with five, it's, it's the biggest one of the day though. It's the, it's the biggest one of the day, but came with five pounds of vegetation, bro. Oh, that's what happens, you see? Don't, don't mess with the Asian, okay, man? Don't mess with the Asian, bro. You mess with the Asian, that's what happens. Look at that. <laughs> I think this is a great way to call the day too. Thunderstorm coming. Y'all can see, right? Wind is kind of picking up out here. Yeah, man, Tennessee thunderstorms. Whole plan for today was actually to hit a little creek and do life listing. But I'll tell you all what, that didn't happen. So the creeks are all floated and muddy right now. Yeah, man, that's, that's nice, huh? I mean, I don't know, one and a half pound, but for the quarry, it seems that this size is about it all right senko fishing <laughs> casting in the open casting in the open and just let it sink me honey hole right over here you see nothing from the top but right over here there's got to be a hole uh, a change in contour down there or some structure like that gunk that just showed up over here right because they love this area it is as they say, you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. You probably realize by now, just by the light in this video, and as a matter of fact, it's drizzling a little bit now, we got a thunderstorm coming once again down here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It rained a lot yesterday. It's starting to rain again right now original plan of the day was for me to hit the creeks right we're down here to do some life listing 385 but hey you can't really change the weather so i'm gonna to put the numbers over here for you all so you all understand how good of a day was it out here catching the bass right our highlight of the day was definitely you know that is spotted bass the micropterus punctulatus it is always a blessing to actually find one of those because like i said you can't really find those in philadelphia pennsylvania right before i finish this video just a few more comments about today's fishing session so you all can learn some stuff too right uh if you have never tried before i find that hard to believe uh, get yourself a pack of gary yamamoto senkos all right 
Gary Yamamoto may have sold his company, but I tell you what, man, then Senko's is still fire, okay? This one's one of the old packs, it's still with the old logo. This is what we use today, right? A man is laying out here. I guarantee you, if I give two more casts over here, we're gonna land somewhere that is that good. But you know, it is not just about the lure, right? You got to understand also that there are other factors at play. This quarry in particular gets a lot of fishing pressure from the locals. The water is very clear, the fish are very finicky, which is why in this video I decided to buy 100% fluorocarbon fishing line, okay? Invisible to the eyes of the fish, and when you wacky rig the Senko, right? You use that 100% fluorocarbon, not the coated line with copolymer inside, your Senko will sink much, much better, all right? Giving it more of that wobbling action for the fish. So, all right, you all can see it, right? I'm not making this up, starting to thunderstorm. It's time for me to turn this off and run back to the house. Tight lines, thanks for watching this video. I will see you all next time. Boys, time together. Heck out of here.